after the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descending from heaven came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothing white as snow. For fear of him, the guards shook and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid. I know you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised as he said. Come see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples. He has been raised from the dead, and indeed he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. This is my message for you. So they left the tomb quickly with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them and said greetings, and they came to him, took hold of his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to Galilee. There they will see. Christ is risen. 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 Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. We welcome you on this Easter morning to the banks of Spruce Creek here in Kittery Point and um, welcome you to this day, this new Easter day, an uh, Easter day unlike any other we have known. We do invite you to join us in the friendly confines of the porch down the road at 10 o'clock for another service of worship and some really, really special music. We are not eyewitnesses to an event, as were Mary and the disciples. We have not journeyed through a dangerous city to seek answers or consolation. We have not seen angels gathering at the rim of this day or wept in the garden this morning because we could not find him. But we are here to attest to a story that has not lost its power during 20 centuries of change and conflict. We are here because those before us carried this story as if it were precious gold, cherished it as if it were the key to a hidden wisdom. Sisters and brothers in Christ, take your places here today, wherever you are, in celebration and in awe. What you have heard has the capacity to change the world. Your very presence attests to the rising up of life from the tomb of despair and to the uncontrollable power of God. It is Easter morning again, an Easter morning unlike any other we have known, and we will celebrate. When the world was young at that first sunrise, and the new light held a promise of new days and fresh mornings, the Word spoke. When the Word spoke and creation sparked and the Alleluias unfolded, the dawn was set free. When the dawn was set free, the trees clapped hands and mountains bowed and the birds sang a new song fresh every morning. Fresh every morning, the day holds a hope that this day is God's, and this day holds the promise, and this day 
is a new beginning. A new beginning is the song of the morning that takes the shadows of night and paints them gold and green, for the earth rejoices. The earth rejoices, for stones have been rolled and tombs have been emptied, and angels are whispering, and death has been conquered. Death has been conquered, and resurrection has left footprints in the dew that tell us he has gone ahead of us. He is not among the dead. He is not here. I have a meditation that was written by the was over and morning had broken, that God's love was the most powerful of all, even though it didn't seem quite real yet. Eventually, they were able to leave their homes. When the fear and danger had subsided, they went around celebrating and spreading the good news that Jesus was risen and love was the most powerful force on earth. This year, we might get to experience a taste of what that first Easter was like, still in our homes, daring to believe that hope is on the horizon. Then, after a while, when it is safe for all people, when it is the most loving choice, we will come out, gathering together, singing and shouting the good news that God brings life even out of death that love always has the final say. This year, we might get the closest taste we have had yet to what that first Easter was like. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Let us pray. God, we repeat our Easter shouts of surprise and joy again and again for news of your victory over powers of death and evil is news so startling, so amazing, so different from the news that bombards us day by day. Beyond our comprehension, you startle us again again and again with resurrection life, bringing grace and hope and joy into our world day after day after day. You in your risen power are shaping all our days and so we praise you, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. And all God's people said, Amen. See you at 10. <laughs>